26th of December 2013, St. Patrick's Park, Temple. 8 players, 8 teams, only one winner. Dune Pubble Games. Welcome to the home of the champions. We're here today in Pubble to talk to the Rogers brothers as you look ahead to their chances in this year's competition. We were due to meet the brothers up behind us here in Powell Forest, but they seem to be still celebrating from last year. They've took a foot off the gas. They're inside here. We hear some music. Let's see what they're getting up to. Thank you. Very well, nice to see you. Good to have you, brothers. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. There. It's well to be in our celebrating still. He's still celebrating from last year, lads. We were supposed to meet you up in the forest. We went up there. He's weren't about. It's chilling. We in the forest. Yeah. We're up there. Yes. Pretty cold at the moment, but it's it's chilling. Cancel this morning. Uh. Well, this this is our training now. Um. To be honest, we've we've, we've kind of come to come to the decision that we didn't really train last year for last year's competition. Okay. And it turned out pretty well. So we just thought there's. There's no real point in any training. I mean, get into the Christmas cheer. Yeah, thought if we're in a good, good team spirit and we're in a, we're in a good vibe, then we're in a good position to to go into the competition this year. And I think yeah. the rest of the fellas are the same, same frame of mind. So yeah, we're we're happy enough to go with that kind of stuff. Well, obviously, congr congratulations again on last year's win. I'm sure it's been a very sweet, sweet year for you. It has, Niall. Thanks very much. It's been a great, it's a great achievement. Um, it yeah, really is up there with the um, winning the championship a few years ago. I mean, there's plenty of fellas now in Tampa who can claim the championship medals, but. There's only eleven fellas in Pubble Dune who have who have a, a town on medal. But I mean, to tell you the truth, Neil, we were we were very disappointed with the level of competition that was put up last year by the other teams. Okay. I mean before before the tournament there was there's a lot of talk of the, the Galacticos of Taddy Cairn and, and even Clarna, you know, yeah. a lot of these big big names, you know, there's former McCrory captains, you know, county players in these townlands, yeah. a lot of medals, a lot of a lot of big egos. Yeah. But um, Where we were, were they? They didn't show. They didn't. They weren't there. They didn't show up. I mean, let's face it. We, we walked the competition. Absolutely walked it. Right. So I mean, to say to say so that he's faced no challenges at all in last year's competition. It, well, to be fair, the only team that really put up a challenge was the Brock of Babes. Yeah. And if it wasn't for a last minute goal from from Bernard in one of one of the group stages, we probably wouldn't have the trophy on, on the top of the tree this year. Yeah. The Angels had to take a wee a wee step aside for the year, like you know, it was pride of place here in the in, in the Thailand. Yeah. But uh, I'd say the Brock Babes were the only team that really put it up to us. I mean, the Taddy here and lads, I mean, it's a little known fact, you know, that this, we're good for little known facts in this and, and these wee documentaries. Okay. We actually beat the Taddy here twice last year. So, I mean... Can I explain, explain more what you mean there? Well, the first one was in the group stage and uh, I think I think you hit a penalty, Bernard. Yeah, yeah. Taddy Kieran didn't want place in the group stage. I thought it wasn't worth it. It was the last game of the group. It was said, oh, probably doing, sure. Who are they? Where are they from? We'll not bother playing them. We'll, yeah. play, we'll have a penalty shootout. Yeah. And uh, our captain, fantastic, Stephen Jackson, saved all three, all three penalties. So that was the first time we beat them. And I can't really remember the final, to be honest. Now it was, it was very one-sided. Uh, it, was, it was just score after score. I, I, the only thing you can remember is Brian Jackson having an absolute stormer of a game. You know, point after point. Yeah. I mean, it brought back memories of of years years ago of him hitting points in Patrick's Park. Yeah. It was fantastic. But uh, so some, some, some of the performances now of our younger players, the likes of Paddy Fee, you know, very young lad, had a great game uh, in the final. Um, he's definitely one to look out for for the senior team in the future. Yeah, um, yeah he's definitely one to look out for now. And as Conor McNally said in a recent interview, Pubble Dune are champions for a reason. And I think it was shown last year. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's evident as well that, that we, were, we were chatting earlier. And um, in terms of transfer requests and transfer news, and the phone has been hot now. It's been, That's something we will come on to later, Bernard. <laughs> yeah, but, it, but, it, but it's, it's, been, it's, it's been flat out, and I think um, it's, a, it's a case that uh, you know there, there's been boys that have been, it's amazing, come up with connections of great grandfathers and great great grandfathers with connections mm -hmm. in Pumble Dune. <laughs> yeah. And but, you as um, well to take anybody as well? Well, we have a very strong setup, and okay. it's, it's been, you know, for, for even boys, like, it's amazing that. You know, em emigrants out, out in a way, the likes of Dark Hina must have been his first million already because apparently he's yeah. scouting for a farm phone, up behind us. Phone, phone, PJ, oh, PJ phone. Kevin McCaffrey, Kevin McCaffrey, you. Hello, Cahill. How's it going out there in Australia? Yeah, yeah, I keep well. Cahill, Cahill, look, this is the fourth time now you've called me this weekend. We, 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 we can't take you, Cahill. We, we can't, we've got a full squad this year. I mean, and I, yeah, I know, I know you want Thailand medal, and I mean, you're not going to get one out there with with the Clarna Bay effect. But who who are you going to go for? 
And Aiden Moore's hiding there. Like. Aiden Moore will take you. Gib Phil Flanagan a ring. He, he's badly stuck for players. You're, you're, you might have a chance to win with them, but look, we have a full squad. Cahal, I'm sorry. Back, yeah. back to the interview, we need to back yeah. to the And if you don't mind, Cahal, this, this is getting very expensive. You've gone from Australia now. All right, cheers, Cahal. Here, safe flight home now, Christmas. Yeah, right. Good, good lad. Cheers, Cahal. Bye bye. bye. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, this this, this is the big news here that Clarn and Laz were possibly losing uh, the player, but. We've had this problem now for a few weeks. Right. As Bernard said, the phone hasn't stopped ringing. And yeah. um, we'd, we'd just like to put it out there that we have a, we have a full squad this year for Pubble Doon, and all the players are from the Pubble and Doon uh, Townland. So we're not we're not available to take anybody else on. I'm sorry I'm sorry to break that news to, to some okay. of the lads who haven't seen me. But I suppose, PJ, we suppose we're not moving on from last year yet. There's a couple of issues maybe that the people of Tampa would like addressed before we move on any further. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. 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 The first one would be regarding um, your use of an under-20 player last year, or should I say your lack of use of an under-20 player. Um, of course, the rules state for anyone who's not aware that each team must have at least one player that's under 20 years of age on their team. Okay, and last year, boys, your youngest player was actually aged 20 years and three months at the time of the competition. Right. Would you like to explain to the people of Tampa why you did not play under 20 no, there during no. last year's competition? No, I'll just, I'll just say to you before you go on any further, that, that's a very serious accusation to be making. Now, you just, just remind you, you're in the home here of, of, the, of the champions of, of, of the Thailand Seven. Seven. So I'd just be... I just be wary of the accusations you might make. I, I, I can't really comment on that at the minute. Well, people around town might say these are facts. Facts, PJ, facts. That, that, that's another very strong accusation to make, but I, I don't want really to comment on that right now, right now because um, our legal counsel is down in Dublin at the week, this weekend. Yeah, so maybe, so we'll, maybe, maybe we'll be addressing yeah. those concerns over the next couple of weeks. But as far as we are concerned, there was total compliance uh, yeah. ahead of the registration process for the competition, and the competition organisers had rubber stamped. The, the team that's going in, so what more can we do? What more can we do? If, you, if you'd like to put any of those concerns in, in, in writing and, uh, and send it to, to Neil Rogers, he'll, he'll have a look and get back to you. Um, just so just so everything's above board and official, because I know, I know it's, it's very... Well, I'm sorry, the people of Tampa, we've, we've got no answer on that one, so if you know, 